Let's now talk about the nested if else statements. By the word nested you really mean if an if or a else if statement is within another if statement or a else statement. The best way to understand this is to take a look at a piece of code. So I have declared short variables x, y and z. x is 4, y is 5 and z is 2. What I am doing is I am going to divide y by z only if x is equal to 4, y is equal to 5 and z is not equal to 0. So first question what I am asking you is is x equal to 4? This condition in my case happens to be true. Then because this is true it will go to the next if. If y is equal to 5 which is also true because y is 5. Since this is true it will come to this one. If z not equal to 0, 2 is definitely not equal to 0. So what it will do is it will print y upon z. Since it's, it's an integer division, 5 upon 2 is going to be 2. The output of this print is going to be 2. Now in order to understand this piece of code, it's important to take different values of x, y and z. Okay. Let's say I take the value of x as 3, the value of y as 4 and the value of z as also 0. So let's take this case when x is 3. When x is 3, 3 is equal to 4, this condition is false. So since this condition is false, it will not go to any of these other ifs. It will directly come and print x is not 4. Now there's a little bit of confusion here because of the number of if and else. So in order to clear that confusion, you need to remember one rule. The else is always associated with the closest if. So this else is associated with this if. Now this else has to be associated with the next closest if which is this one. And finally this last else is associated with the if associated with x. So the rule of the thumb is the else is always associated with the closest if which is not already associated with some other else. So this if is this else, this if is associated with this else, this else is associated with this if. That's why when I said x is equal to 3, okay, since this else was already joined with this, this else was already joined with this. So if had to be, x had to be associated with this else and that's why it's going to print x is not 4. Now let's take the value. Let's assume x is 4 and y is also 4. If x is 4, this is true. Now is 4 equal to 5? This is false. So since this is false, it will come to this else which is associated with y. So it is going to print y is not 5. Now let's take x is 4, y is 5 and z is 0. If 4 is equal to 4 is true, 5 is equal to 5 is true. Now z is 0. 0 is not equal to 0 is again false. Since it is false, it will take part in this else. This else it will print z is 0. So this is an example of nested if else statements or if else if. That means within an if or a else if you have multiple if or you have a if else if or a if else associated with it. So once we do a few examples, this will be really clear. But the most important thing you need to remember is an else is always associated with the closest if. The second thing is be sure you indent it properly. That means you give proper spacings so that here if you see I have matched this else with this if. This if is matched with this else and this else is matched with this if. Because this way I can clearly understand which if is matched with which else. Another way to make it more meaningful is you can use the flower braces or the flower brackets to make the association very clear.